Back to that weather alert, Chris. I mean, how long till that we're going to start seeing some snow? Just a few hours, right? Yeah, some of you, as early as four o'clock, may have the flakes flying. We're already noticing uh, the clouds building here over the higher terrain off to the west and northwest of Denver. I think you'll notice the clouds really taking hold here over the next couple of hours. We are mostly in the 30s up and down uh, the eastern side of Colorado. Well, I should say 30s and 40s here along and east of I-25 and out west. We have some 20s in the higher elevations. 29. Degrees right now up there in Frisco. It's 37 in Telluride, 40 in Denver and Fort Collins. 38 degrees at George Smith's. He's our weather watcher in southwestern Lakewood and northeastern Colorado. Good afternoon to you. 41 degrees. Ken Namath just north of Sterling. Uh, noticing the wind speeds picking up a little bit here, especially places like Colorado Springs and Salida. We have a storm system sitting just to our northwest. It's moving in as we speak. It will be coming into the state tonight and sitting with us tomorrow morning, and that's going to kick up the wind as it takes shape over Colorado. It's not not all that impressive when you look at the regional radar. It's back here by Salt Lake City, but as this thing moves closer to the state, it'll be bringing some moisture with it, interacting with our terrain and helping to squeeze out some snow. Starting to notice the clouds building here along the Front Range. We think snow will start to develop in the foothills and on the 25 corridor again around 4 or 5 o'clock this afternoon, becoming a little bit more widespread in coverage as we go toward the mid evening hours and then during your overnight we have a pretty good swath of snow expected both from the eastern plains right back into the front range even the high country getting in on this although it will not be as heavy in the higher elevations this is 5 a.m. tomorrow as we get past sunrise we'll see a gradual decrease from north to south as that snow pulls away from Colorado I want to show you the winter weather advisories these do include uh, most all major cities on the 25 urban corridor from Denver south uh, 2 to 5 inches possible between the Springs and Pueblo, four to eight in parts of our Sangre de Cristo Mountains, as well as the Front Range foothills and along the Palmer Divide. We are now under the advisory here in immediate Metro Denver. Could see four to eight inches of snow, and then lighter as you move off to the north and east towards Fort Collins and Greeley more of the one to four inch range. I want to show you a model here, and I think this is doing a pretty good job. It definitely pegs the heavier totals along the foothills, the little burst of four to eight over Metro Denver with lighter totals in the front range, or excuse me, in the western mountains and on the eastern plains. But in meteorology, we always like to look at what we call the outlier model. And in this case, it's the graph, and it puts a pretty heavy bullseye of snow right over the city. This is not the forecast, but it is in the realm of possibility. Again, it's the outlier. So we'll keep that in mind as this storm system evolves. So dropping to 16 tonight with 100% chance of snow that will linger into the morning. Dominic, I'll join you with the Mobile Weather Lab tomorrow morning. We want to encourage you to watch us at 5 o'clock. Dave Aguilera will be out working with Lauren Whitney and they'll have the very latest on this developing snowstorm. Hey, you better get some sleep, buddy. I sure will. All right, thanks, Chris. And don't